Hi there, welcome to the uh, video for this frame, this eBay sale. Um, Specialized Rebay 2014. Um, it is 56 centimeter. And we're going to be selling the forks, the frame, and the seat post, the original seat post that came with the bike, which I um, took out quite early on because I bought a, a Zertz one. Um, okay, so we'll start off with the forks. Uh, just to show you around, so we have at the top. Let's put that there and give you a good look. Just as is much easier, much better than photos because you can actually see around um, and inspect it for yourselves. Photos are okay, but sometimes they're not truthful. So as we go down the fork, uh, a bit of a mark. Here you can see in the light. Um, I think there was one back there. Um, these marks on the rear I'll come on to uh, in a moment when we get round there. So as you can see, it's post mount, it's quick release, uh, post mount disc. Sorry, quick release. A um, bit of water there because I've just washed them, so that they're nice and clean. Let's spin that round. Kira on the other side, we'll just get in there nice and tight so you can have a look. Other side, this side, other side. Okay, now as we go up the reverse, you'll see um, marks on the back just above the zerts here. One here and here, and one here and here. That is where, that is where I used to attach my uh, mud guards for uh, for the winter. See if we can get it focusing on there. There we go. So uh, just a slight scratching in the front. Uh, looks like the paint's coming off there. I oh, know that's uh, underneath the Zertz plastic, I think. So uh, the same here. There we go. Just slight, oh, it's not focusing, just slight abrasions there. Also up in here, as you can see, uh, that's where the top of the mud guard used to rub on the inside of the fork, see? So we've got uh, stuff there, and if we can spin that over, you'll be able to, you'll be able to see it in there, right there. Uh, get my finger pointing. Oh. Let's spin back just there as well. You can see the edges of the mud guard and the top. I mean, it's only slight, it's not too deep. Maybe there it is on the lip. Uh, you can see it there. See, I'm just trying to get the right light. So, that is the fork. Look around the fork, okay? Some water there. Yeah, awesome. Next, seat post. Original seat post that came with the bike. Um, I took this out a long time ago and I just found it in a box. So that was cool. So we've got a specialized fact carbon uh, seat post. Seat post clamp, there's the recommended uh, torque settings. Um, That scratches as I was twisting it in and out of the frame. Yeah, as you can see, the numbers aren't rubbed off where they are there. So obviously, it was sitting around there for my uh, for my height. So that hasn't had much use because the numbers are still there on my other seat post. All the numbers were gone. Um, so that's the original seat post that came with it. It is for alloy rails, by the looks of it. Yes, it is. It's got an alloy rail uh, clamp. Okay. So let's move on to the frame. So, uh, frame, here we go. So we've got a BB30 button bracket. And what we'll do is we'll look at this side, give you a scan of this side. We'll start, we'll go up here. That's where I've just been holding it. So we'll go up this way. Uh, 
Uh, here there's a little bit where the um, cable was touching the frame, so I stuck some electrical tape over there to stop it rubbing even more, I think. It looks like there's a few scratches there. Let's just focus in on that. Get some light on it if we can. Stand her up. Yeah. Okay. Around the front. Okay, lay her back down across the top tube. Uh, looks like there's, yeah, that's chipped a little bit. I think the paint's just come off there. Okay, let's walk, work our way along. A little a few scratches there, maybe, like the surface. Seat clamp, a little bit rusty. It's been ridden in all weathers for three and a bit years. I bought this in, um, when was it? Uh, October, November of 2014. So we'll come down here. We'll come back to that in a minute. I know exactly what that is. There's some more water from where I've just washed it, I think. Not coming off that well. It's probably just a stain. I've put um, white spirit and, and uh, meths all over this to clean it up as well. So just so we can see what's going on. Right, uh, QR drops there, post mount. Uh, caliper at the back, Zert up here. Okay, let's spin it round. Look down the back. Here we go. Should be some marks in there. Come back to those again. That's mud guard. Definitely a mark there. We'll come back to that. That's mud guard. Uh, view down the back. Here we go. Spin her over. Uh, that bit is flapping around. That's like a silic rubbery protector on the inside. Drivia hanger come along the top. That's a chain stay protector. Bottom bracket shell the other side. So have a look in there. Yeah, and yeah. Nice. Okay, uh, that bit is gone. I took it off because I didn't run any cables through there. All my cables were internal uh, DO2. So that disappeared. Cable got this side. Looks like there's a mark there. Just feeling it. There is. Don't know what that's from. Okay, up here. Back up to here. Okay, let's have a look at the bearing surfaces. Well, first of all, here we go. Well, it's not the bearing surface, that's a cot. I mean, it's a cartridge bearing, so uh, underneath. Okay, down the length here. Okay, let's get onto that. Uh, oh, looks like there's an abrasion there on the underneath. Let me just see if I can hold that. Uh, just about feel that one. Oh, I've got an autofocus lock for some reason. There we go. Trying to, zoom, trying to get it. Okay, so right, let's go back to these marks here. So, this one. Excuse the knees, but I've got to hold it somehow. Okay, and we're back. Let's just get under there. Right, okay, I think that's a good angle. Finger, right, this one. Let me try and see how close I can get. Side, okay, so it's through, yeah, that's reasonably, I mean, it's not through the whole of the, of the frame, but that is from the front of the mud guard. Um, touching the frame, and with the grip from the winter roads, that's just, worn away because I usually just put the mud guard on for the whole of the winter and leave it there and that is a that's where I had a cable tie to cable tie the front of the mud guard on as you can see I'm trying to spin it around I'm not hiding any of this 
I'm trying to be as honest as I can. That's the other side of the cable tie. Now, up here, if we turn the frame over, up here you can see where the mud guard touched the top of uh, that. I'm trying to get a good shot for you. There. So it touched the top of the. That's worn, I think. Yeah, that's definitely worn it flat. It should be curved, but it's worn it flat. Um, trying to get in there. Trying to see if I can find anything else. Yes, right, the same marks we had on the front forks, we've got on the back. So we've got marks here. That's feelable. Feelable, I don't even know if that's a word. Um, that's the contact point of the frame brace for the for the uh, mud guard for the winter. So it's a bit pitted with the grit that got into it. And there you can see, a bit pitted. Um, but overall, pretty good. So that looks like the only uh, damage for there. Let's just get a nice shot up here. So a uh, specialized Rebay frame. Let's just chuck the, chuck the fork in. Always tough one handed. So there we go. And obviously seat post will go in. I'll just chuck that in uh, up to as far as it can go. So there we go. That's what you're getting for your bids. Um, it is 2014. It is a Fat Carbon 8R. Uh, Zertz Rebay Disc Brake Edition and there's no bearings for the headset oh sorry yeah for the headset and the forks you're just getting seat post forks frame now let's just pull that out sorry it's a bit jerky one handed and all that for those of you that watch my channel you don't have to I'm not plugging it always weigh everything so so you know how much it'll weigh We've got, I weigh them individually then all together. So we've got forks, 570 grams. No, let's just zero that. Right, let's try again. Forks, 571. Seat post, 246. Frame, One three eight seven. So all together, frame, seat post. Mm, this is going to be tricky. Fork. Let's lay that on top of the frame and hope it sits there without falling off. It does. Two two zero four. Okay. Two two zero four for everything. Get that back there. So, hope I've been as honest as you can, or as honest as I can. Thanks for looking, and uh, happy bidding. Take care.